Hello, Crappy Crafters. It's Crappy Crafting with Daniel. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. I actually finished a Halloween junk journal. So this is the um, junk journal that I made out of um, wrapping paper or packing paper. Packing paper. So I just wanted to show you guys because I'm, I'm just excited that I got it done and it's not even October yet. Almost, but not yet. So let's have a little look through this and you know, it's, it's a crappy junk journal. So, or glue book or, you know, there's some writing things in here, but some of it is just pretties to look at. So let me zoom you in. Okay. So first of all, look, look at these. I left my, um, when I sewed the signatures in, I had two strings left. So I just took some paper and also, um, so you will see a lot of the same sentiments, a lot of the same papers. I just used what I had on hand. I don't have a whole lot of Halloween stuff. So these are cloth. And then this is just paper, you know, because I didn't have any um, big beads or anything. And so I just glued them on real quick. There's that. This I just got. This is from the Dollar Tree in their spooky section of wrap. Now, I don't. I love it. I think it's cute, but this stuff comes off really easily. Falls off. I mean, when I untie this, a lot of the white's going to fall off. So let's untie it and let me show you the book. See, look at all that. I, I don't, I'm going to have to find a different, either take all that white off of there or find a different yeah, I don't like that. I just now put it on there. I didn't have a closure. Let me wipe this off because I don't like that. Oh, yeah. We're done with that. Well, that closure is not going to be the one. Let me wipe this off now. Not recommended. Just saying. Live and learn as a crappy crafter. Look how cute this is. So the front part of this is like three or four of um, this type of paper glued together. So that's your packing paper. So in order to make it strong, I just glued, I think, four layers together. And then I covered it with a, um, uh, a, a napkin. And then I painted it. Because I thought I was going to go a whole new direction, different direction on doing it. But then I decided to turn it into a Halloween junk journal. So I covered it with some fabric of this cute little witch cat and cats. And then this is just scrap paper. So I cut it a square out. And these are actually three different sections of different papers all glued together. And then Happy Halloween off of a paper that I had. Um, I had some scrapbook paper that on one side was a different color, like circles or whatever. And then the other had a bunch of sayings on it for Halloween. So that's what I did. And then this is just from a lace curtain and I inked it with some black ink. And then, um, sorry, the lighting in here is not very good. Uh, and then got a little package of pumpkins and I glued the pumpkin on there. So let me get that back down in the light. So there's our front and then our back. I'm not good at showing stuff. It's just another piece of fabric, Halloween fabric, just sewed on there or um, glued on there. All right, so let's get going. So the first page, I just glued uh, some of our paper that we dyed together on one of my videos and then just cut out a sentiment. And then this is from fabric. It's actually Batman fabric. If you can't tell, I had some Batman fabric. So I just cut out the bat and put there. 
And then this one here, so these, all the pages inside is this um, packing paper. So I just ripped up a scrapbook piece of paper. And then on the other side of this is the sentiments. And then I have a circle that I did and put uh, some fabric on there. And then there's just this little tag. And I had a pumpkin stamp, but I drew a little face on there. And it's just a place where you can journal if you want to. And so this is just glued like that much, so it's a tough spot. Cute, I think. But I'm very proud of this, even though it's not that fancy. This is just some rickrack that I glued on this side and this side to make a belly band. And then this is just this, it's not even Halloween. But I love this old photo of these ladies having fun back in the day. And then I just put some scrapbook paper on the back of it to make it more sturdy because it was kind of bending and sort of falling apart. I just thought, ah, that kind of goes. I love their dresses and stuff. So this here, I just glued some of the lace curtain. And then... Um, this wasn't standing out enough, so I put just another piece of fabric and glued it down. And then this is just a reproduction print-off card. I thought that was cool. And I just backed it with some orange paper, and then I just took black soot, the ink, and just inked it up to make it look old. So there's that. And then on this page... Um, just a little, I just glued these down. This is a two-sided paper, so I bent this down so you'd see this side and then just made a pocket. And then we have, out of our beautiful glitter paper, we ha I just made a tag and then I glued some ribbon there. And then you can write on the back if you wish. And then this page um, once again, scrapbook paper, but this one opens up. We have trick or treat. So you open it up there. You open it up there, there, and there. So we just have little skeletons and pumpkins. Cute. And that's just another piece of fabric. I just pinked it. Pink. With my pinking shears and just glued it down and then these you could put some paper on there if you wanted to so you could write on them but I just liked the um, just to, just to have something to look at and something fun to play with so there's that page and then this page is another circle and I stamped and colored that. And like I said, you're going to see a lot of repeats of the same papers, the same stamps, because I was very limited in what I had, just to show that you can still make a cute book and it can repeat a lot of stuff, but you can still make it look different and make it look cute. And so then we, I just put this in here. It's just a little fold out trick or treat. Just another little fun thing to play with. And there's the back of the paper that I did some inking on. And just fold that up. And then trick shows. And this is just glued part way. So it's a tuck spot. Just, just some really simple, cute ideas. And here, this, um, I just put down some glitter paper. To make, I put things on all the papers because this is really, really thin. So I just backed some other papers on it to make it uh, thicker. So this is very simple. It's just that glitter paper. And then I made a belly band out of a piece of fabric. And then this is one of those um, paint samples you get from the store. So I just stamped Happy Halloween on there and then put some cut out some pieces from the fabric and then that's all that is just using up my junk that was laying around it's a junk journal <laughs> so let me get this up in here and then this is just a glue down of all the different sentiments 
from that scrapbooking paper. Just, just for just for the fun of it, and this is the same way. I just put a piece of fabric there, and then two scrapbook papers that were cut out. This is nothing. It's just a fun little thing to look at. A couple pages of just looks. This is another um, fold down pocket, so double sided, and then I just folded part of that down glued that down. This is just a piece of that lace curtain and I inked it up and then glued it down and then this is just one of those round tags. I took some rickrack for a pull tab and just a sentiment on there and then you can write on the back if you wish. And then I made it cute with a handmade ghost that pops out. See? Boo! <laughs> Sorry. I enjoy my own stuff. <laughs> this, I just, I love witches' hats. So, um, I just put down some white sparkle paper. And then I drew my own hat. And then I put a piece of fabric on it. And then cut out one of the fabric cats. And put on there. Just, just for cutes, cutes, cutesies. Halloween cutesies. Another one. Just some fabric, some lace curtain, Happy Halloween, um, another piece of lace curtain, and just a stamp on orange paper. Just glue down, just for to look at. No reason, no season. Well, it is a season. So I just took some Rick Rack and glued those down and then glued some sentiments on them so they would kind of hang. And then just put a piece of scrapbook paper to hide the tops of them. Uh, this is just a journaling spot, if you so wish. Just that dyed to paper that we did a while back. Did a black rose and some Rick Rack. Just a place to write. Then, yeah, another just glue down. I <laughs> make sure it wasn't anything, but it's not. Just several layers of paper and then the sentiments. This is just a little fabric pocket with another sentiment, scary. And then I backed it with some of that paper just for a little tag to go in there. Uh, we have another little tag situation here. So um, this is the dyed book pages. So I just tore it up, inked around it, and put it down as a base. And then just put these two little things on. And then I just half glued this. And then we have our little tag, little piece of fabric. And then we have a little kitty cat. See, once again, just using what we have and repeating it, but it looks different when you do different little things. This page is another I stamped on a little punch of some book pages and then stamped on there. And then this is just orange paper and did a pocket. And then did another little fabric on there. There's a place you can write, and I use some of that sparkle paper as a tab. Put you down, and then some more funds. I love my sparkles. I love I love glitter, so I just used the glitter paper. Just did some rick rack, and then just drew some little pumpkin-like things. And then this is another. Just what I did on this was weave papers. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's three papers this way, and then two papers this, and three, no, there are three papers. I got it covered up. And I just wove them in and out of each other. Put a little sentiment, put a little ghost fabric there. And then, 
This is another little um, lace pocket here. And then I just did a little booklet. And I just made a little ghosty out of a page, book page. And then this is just coffee dyed writing paper that I just cut up into a little thing. And I didn't even staple it or anything. I just tied some jute around it. And then that fits in there. Very simple, very easy, and very cute. And then this just has a tab there. These are just, I put them on there because I thought they looked like eyeballs. Some crazy eyeballs. I thought that was fun. You know, just silly, just crappy crafting. And then we have another pocket here out of a sentiment and just some torn paper and then just off a piece of paper. Happy Halloween. You can write on the back of it. And then this is our back page. So just some more sentiments glued on there. And that is it. So, hope you enjoyed looking through this with me. I'm very proud of it, even though it's not, you know, fancily beautiful or a lot going on with it. Um, I, I still think it turned out really cute and really well. So, I hope you got some ideas from it. And I hope that shows that you can make something and it doesn't have to be this beautiful art creation. You can just do simple things and use up what you have and repeat it and it will still look different just by doing different little techniques throughout it. I did not do any um, filming of this stuff because it takes me so long that I didn't do any tutorials or anything like that. I just wanted to get this done and be able to show you something that actually gets done quickly, which it wasn't real quick because, you know, I had to do it in my spare time. So, um, hope you enjoy it, and uh, I can't wait to see you on the next video. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing next, none whatsoever, but we'll see each other when we see each other. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.